notification. I don't know, get a notification on your list. There you go. Okay. Hey, Shalom. Shalom. I want to start off the lesson by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. The blondest of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well and teach well. Shalom. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. Only to you, we say Shalom. As you see the title, The Pending Blessings to Come. Okay? Brother had a, a beautiful precept to start it off. You want to do that, brother? In Deuteronomy 30 and 1, it reads, And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whether Yahweh thy power have driven thee, and shall return unto the Lord Yahweh thy power, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children, with all thine heart and with all thine soul, that then Yahweh thy power will turn thy captivity. And have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations, whether Yahweh thy power have scattered thee. Beautiful. And that <clears throat> that same mercy, okay, we're living in that same mercy right now. The scriptures talk about us returning to the Lord. Well, that's what's happening. We need that more than ever right now because the things that our enemies have been doing in this earth, it's starting to return back on their head. Okay. They're starting to reap the benefits of the wickedness that they've sown in the earth. They have a little bit of time to rejoice in the blessing, okay, that the Lord gave them, which is the sword. And that's why he wants to max out his use of the sword, mm. because our blessing is coming. It's pending. And what happens to some money that's in your account? Okay, it's pending. It's going to hit. You just don't know when. Right. Okay. It's verse five. And the Lord, Yahweh, thy power will bring thee. Into the land which thy fathers possess, mm. and thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good and multiply thee above and multiply thee above thy fathers. Mm. And Yahweh thy power will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed to love Yahweh thy power with all thine heart and with all thine soul, that thou mayest live. Mm. And Yahweh thy power will put all these curses. Upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, mm. which persecuted thee. Right. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of Yahweh and do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. And Yahweh thy power will make thee plenteous mm. in every work of thine hand, in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy land. It says, for good. Right. For Yahweh will again rejoice over thee for good. As he rejoiced over thy father. And he said again. Right. So that's past tense. We already know that the heavenly father, he loves Israel. Right. Okay. That's you Israelites. You so-called black, Hispanic, Native Americans and you speckled birds out there. This is not a race thing. Right. It's not a color thing, man. He said, I will love you again. I will turn to you again. That means this is something that we once knew. Con. Right. The scripture say, well, go ahead. Huh? I got to get this. You said that. Con, con. Jeremiah 31 and 1. That's it. At the same time, Seth Yahweh. Will I be the father of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people? Mm. Thus saith Yahweh, the people which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness, even Israel, when I went to cause him to rest. Mm. Yahweh have appeared of old unto me, saying, Yeah, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Mm. Again, mm. I will build thee, and thou shalt be built. O virgin of Israel, that's right. Thou shalt again mm. be adored with thy tablets, and shall go forth in the dances of them that make merry. That's beautiful, because you know that the scripture, when the Lord was uh, removing His love from us, He was saying that He would remove not only to the females of our nation, but He did it to the female of the. We are the men of the nation, right? We are the men that the heavenly Father is dealing with, and the same way He did our women, He did unto us. That's fair, right? OK, because why? Because you know what? When your old lady, when she makes a mistake, OK, what do you do? You punish her. Mm -hmm. OK, and you don't punish her like a belt and a whip. You punish her with what? 
pulling back from things that she should have deserved. Right. Or she should have earned. Right. Okay. Uh, but your love, your everlasting, the scripture says it's an everlasting love. Right. So just because we were living in his wrath, he didn't turn our face completely away from us. The scriptures in Isaiah says in, in his wrath, he smote thee, but in his favor, he had mercy right. on thee. Right. Right. And that's what we need. We need mercy, man. And we're repenting for sinning against the Lord. Our forefathers sinned against the Lord. We sinned against the Lord, but he's replenishing us and he's going to replenish our land. He's replenishing us. He said he's going to put, he's going to give us pastors according to his heart, right. not our heart. See, our carnal mind, we want what we want when we want it. And we can't wait for it. But the scripture says one day to the Lord, this has a thousand years, man. So he's living on a whole different time frame than us. Right. The heavenly father has a pending blessing and it is coming. Okay. And we don't got to do nothing but have faith and know that the heavenly father is going to deliver. It's going to deliver. When, when your bank account says whatever dollar amount pending, guess what? You know for a fact, any minute now it's coming. Right. And we have that same faith, man. This, okay. This is um land back in the point just mentioned about the woman. Come. It's Jeremiah 6 and 2. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. Beautiful. And when you say comely and delicate, comely, you know, beautiful. Yeah, right. No doubt, man. Gorgeous, man. Gorgeous, man. All right, and delicate, meaning what? You're fully, you're fully in your you feminine. Feminine. Feminism, yeah. There you go. That's the word I was yeah. looking for. They ain't no. You don't have no room. No, you are no tomboy. No man. None of energy, that. None of that. None of that. Yeah. Okay, and that's what we were turning to. We have an understanding with the meekness, the humbleness, the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding that we get through the elders and apostles, man. Okay. We have an understanding why the Heavenly Father is doing what he's doing. Sometimes it may not feel good. It may not feel fair. Okay? But knowing that the Heavenly Father is in control is the only comfort we have, and that's the only comfort we need. Right. Okay? And that living outside of that, it's discomfort. Uh. Okay? Because then you got to stress about having the power in your own hands. How are you going to get your bills paid? How are you going to get your situation straightened out? See, we have comfort in the Lord, man. That his blessings are pending. Right. We know what's going to happen. We just got to be patient. The scripture says the Lord is not slack concerning his promises as some men count slackness. Right. Man. Right. Yeah. Okay. So what when you could when Billy or Bob, when he tell you, hey, let me borrow a dollar. I give it back. Yeah, man, you should hesitate. You should doubt. Okay. But when the heavenly father says, I will, I will save. I will do. Okay. I will return you. That's his will. Right. And we're living in his will. And everything that happens to us, it is the will and the testament of the Heavenly Father. So we can have a testimony for him. And making a point about pending. Mm. We ain't want about when or how. We just know it's going to happen, man. We we believe. Right. We have faith. We know. The Lord said he is not a man that he should lie. Mm. So we know it's going to happen. We just hope we be worthy. Of it happening to us, man. Lord willing. Right. It's Isaiah 54 and 4. Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded, for thou, for thou shalt not be put to shame, but thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, mm. and shalt not remember the reproach of thy widowhood anymore. For thy maker is thine husband. Yahweh of hosts is his name, and thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the power of the whole earth shall he be called. Mm. For Yahweh have called thee as a woman forsaken and mm. grieved in spirit. Come on. Man. And a wife of youth when thou was refused, see of thy power. Man, that's beautiful, man. <laughs> he said, Thy widowhood. Yeah, man. Man, we was out here alone for a long time without the Lord getting through, man. Yeah, man. Okay, they ran through, ran through, man. <laughs> these uh, these other guys was going for yeah, doing man. a train on yeah, us, man. man. Holiday, man. Straight up, man. And the Heavenly Father had to return unto us, man. And the way he done it, it was in a situation where there was you man. knew it was him. You know, and that's what it's about. That's what the Heavenly Father is about. Coming in at that last second to show his true power. Okay, he want you to have the faith when nobody else got the faith. Right. He want to show you what he going to do when nobody else has a clue, man. OK, and that's the blessing of having this wisdom, knowledge and understanding is that we know the Heavenly Father, his intentions are for his hopeful elect. And that's what we pray to be, man. This is uh, verse seven. 
Isaiah 54 and 7. For a small moment have I forsaken thee, mm. but with great mercies will I gather thee. In a little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness wow. will I have mercy on thee, see if Yahweh thy redeemer. And that's what we need, bro. He said everlasting kindness, man. Even when he was wroth, he was kind. How about that? <laughs> All right. Slavery, he was being kind. Okay? Buck breaking, he was being kind. What do you think he's going to do to these other nations, man? man. Okay? And now he's taking off that, that wrath from us. Okay? It's lucky. He's taking away that wrath from us, and it's imperative. Okay? Slaki, it's imperative that we stay in that fervent spirit that the Heavenly Father gave us because returning unto him is the blessing that's pending in itself. That's the blessing alone, because if you think about it, where was you going to go for salvation? You wasn't going to go to Muhammad. OK, Shiva wasn't going to get you there. Right. OK, Ra. OK, Amin Ra, all these other gods that all these other people believe in, they're not saving nobody. They're not creating no miracles in the earth as we speak. You're a walking miracle. Anybody who believes in the Shai, you're a walking miracle, man. The Heavenly Father has ordained you to get the knowledge and the wisdom and what you do with it, okay? It's basically up to him, but it's up to you to be on fire for this truth, man. Right. Got something, brother? Hey, it's a, it's a the widowhood, man. Right. Hey, when you think about when you think about a harlot or a prostitute, man, you know how many rods them prostitutes done had, man? You know how many times a guy might be like, hey, I want to I wanna do it raw. Mm. Okay, you got to pay me to, for me to let you, like, uh, you know, drop your seed in me. Yeah. You got to pay me that, you know. Extra. You know how many times a harlot done ran through a prostitute and had sex with men with condoms on? Listen, this is the Lord, like, this was Israel, man. That's right. We did that, man. We follow every idol worshiping on the planet, man, which are idols. This is Jeremiah 3 and 1. They say, if a man put away his wife and shall go from him and become another man's, mm. shall he return unto her again? Mm. Shall not that land be greatly polluted? But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, yet return again to me. See if you howl. And what he gonna do with us, man? We got all kind of traces of other men's. <laughs> we got traces of other gods' sperm on oh, us, man. Oh, man, everyone, man. We nasty, man. Polluted. The scriptures say what? Well, polluted. It's a, <laughs> That's beautiful. Shall bro. not that land be greatly polluted, man? But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, yet return again to me, saith Yahweh. And Israel is a people before a place, man. So when he says, shall not that land be polluted, man, we are that land, that polluted land. Right. You kidding me? And you want to return back to the Lord? Listen, we got to go through a whole purification process just for him to set his eyes on us again. Right, man. Okay, these graven images, man, we done fell into all kinds of folly, dealing with unclean women, okay? Dealing with unclean animals. A lot of us were eating pork, shrimps, crabs, and lobsters. Right. Having sex with women, doing the same thing, having sex with women, having sex with other men. Yeah, man. It was just getting worse and worse, man. Israel at a whole, as a woman, we was just waxing worse, man. But as you see, man, you ever see that dope lady who stay off of drugs for 10 years? She start looking like something different. Mm -hmm. She start reviving. She start getting a little fat on her bones. She start getting her moral, her morals back because she already done lost it all. Right. Okay. She's no longer for the streets. She's reserved for her husband, man. And that's what we're coming back into, man. Because we deserve death for what we did to the Heavenly Father. Okay? And a lot of us may seem to die. We may get martyred. But the Heavenly Father has a pending blessing for those martyred too. This, the scripture says they're going to be risen first. Right. Okay? That's a blessing. <laughs> it's all a blessing. And when you look through spiritual eyes and you see what's happening and what the Lord's doing, it's all really just a blessing. Got something, Mark? Hosea 5 and 15, Beautiful. I will go and return to my place to the acknowledge the offense and seek my face in their affliction. Mm -hmm. They will seek me early. That's right. And we seek them early right now because we're in our affliction. Right. When the Heavenly Father brings his son back to us, Yahweh, he's going to find his children in captivity. 
under the same people, he's going to free us, man. Free us from up under. Okay, you Edomites, you Rothschilds, okay, you banking elites, okay? The scripture says to rejoice and be glad. Y'all should be kicking and having a good time. You know, it's a sad thing. When you see a homeless Edomite in his own kingdom losing, that's when you know our kingdoms come. Okay, I've never seen more homeless, needy Edomites in my life, man. Right. Okay, Jake is winning around here, man. <laughs> we were talking about it earlier. Jake driving Chargers and Bentleys and Range Rovers with the grill missing. Okay, Jake got the <laughs> Challenges, Camaros. <laughs> Jake sliding in Corvettes, man. Right. New Corvettes, man. Right. And those two thirds, see, they're getting their blessing along with the wicked right now. Right. It's not going to last. Our blessing is pending, man. Well, and we got to be that. patient, man. Uh, we got to be patient. Let me read that since you said that. Beautiful. Love. In Proverbs 26 and 10, it reads, The great God that formed all things, both reward of the fool mm. and reward of transgressors. Yeah, man. Bro, if the rewards go to fools and transgressors, how <laughs> much more us? Yeah, man. They yeah. think they're winning their temporary blessing. Uh, listen, a lot of these cats, they're going to die in those hell charge in those hell cats and those charges. Okay? They're going to die grievous death coming in Jacob's trouble. The heavenly Father has a pending blessing for us, man. A right. miracle, man. He's going to save us out of these hard times. And I'm going to tell you what, ain't no charging going to be important in the time of wrath, man. Mm -hmm. The scripture says riches profit not in the time of wrath. Right. So who's going to give a shit what kind of vehicle you're driving, what kind of jewelry you got? No one's going to give a shit what kind of clothes you're wearing, what kind of shoes, okay? <laughs> it's going to be self-preservation, all right? And all you're going to have is what you got with you. And if you don't have this word in these scriptures, in these times, you're going to be in trouble. All right. This yeah. is um, Revelation 2 and verse 9. I know thy works mm. and tribulation and poverty, That's right. but thou art rich. And what are we rich with? The kingdom, right. the promises, our heritage. Okay? This truth, this wisdom that was understanding. We got brothers, man. Okay? To rely on, to reach out to when we don't have the confidence to move on. When we don't have, okay, the, the power, <laughs> okay, physically to move continue on we man we got the brotherhood we got right. the count we got the elders and apostles feeding us daily multiple times a day right okay you got elder apostle tahar going premiering okay elder apostle ariamlov going live elder apostle gabar elder apostle rakar the elder bishops the like-minded brothers all the day long what's your excuse man right. You know, the Heavenly Father is not forgotten about us, man. And it seems that way. It seems like we are a motherless child, don't it? That nobody cares about you. Nobody cares about your situation. You got people passing you every day. They don't give a shit about what you're going through, how you got there, and how you're getting back. The Heavenly Father has already made a plan mapped out for us. The scripture says, man's going is of the Lord. How can he then know his own way? You don't know. Right. I got to get this for you real quick. Come on. Because it said, I know thy... Uh, he said, I know thy works, tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Beautiful. Second Corinthians 8 and 9. But ye know the grace of our Lord, Yahweh Shalmashi up, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, mm. that ye through his poverty might be rich. That's right. His poverty, man. <laughs> and you got to think about the reincarnation of Yahweh Shah, man. He was King Solomon. Right? And the scripture says what? King Solomon, all his glory would not be arrayed as one of these, man. Talking about that hopeful elect. We got a beautiful thing coming, man, with no going off. All right? We see King Solomon went off, man. We're not going to go off. We're going to have the word and his testimony in our inward parts, man. Right. Okay? Ain't no going off, man. And this is a beautiful thing that the Heavenly Father is doing because when you have spiritual eyes that I saw, that the scriptures talk about, when you see what's happening around us and what's going on, you see the fear on the people. Not knowing where their next dollar is coming from, whether they're going to be spending Bitcoin next or not. Okay. He's blessed us with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to know what's going to happen next, man. See, we got the trailer before the movie. How about that? How about that? Okay. That doesn't happen. Usually, you got to, everybody's got to go view the movie. Then you got to wait for it to hit on DVD before you even get to see the trailer. We got the trailer before the movie. The right. director's cut. We saw the angles. We see the, <laughs> the characters being played out. We, we see it all, man. But guess what? 
we have our role to play too. Right. And just because he blessed us with the ISAF, that doesn't mean we don't have a position to play. Yeah, I know you this got is, one. Uh, it's Isaiah 26 and 70 reads, the way of the just is uprightness, though most upright, do his way the path of the just. Yet in the way of thy judgments, O Yahweh, have we waited for thee. Mm. The desire of our soul is to thy name and to be remembrance of thee. With my soul have I desired thee in the night, yet with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. <laughs> that's that's going to be a forced process, That's going to be a forced process, bro. Because <laughs> there ain't no righteousness roaming the earth right now, but the whole full of luck. Uh, this place is upside down wicked, man. It promotes wickedness on the all-time high. You ever watch these Disney cartoons? All the sexual perverseness in it? This place is built for wickedness. But guess what, man? The Heavenly Father, man, what he's got for us that's pending, listen, it's going to hit the account one day, okay? Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but his timing is perfect. And just like it's been a process to get this place wicked, it's going to be a process to make us righteous again, man. Right. We're cleaning ourselves. We're washing ourselves. We're changing out our rags. We're purificating our spirits, man. According to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, because it's the best thing we can do. This work is the best thing we can do, man. Hands down, okay. And we got to continue to do so and not be faint in hands, not be faint in faith, okay. And continue to support the brothers, man, who are pushing. There's brothers online. Who ain't got one person on the comment board and has had that for months and for years and they're still pushing. They're pushing hard because it ain't about the bank account. It ain't about the live stream. Who's showing up? It's about the spiritual account, man. The pending blessing. Right. That's what we're waiting on, man. You think the Heavenly Father don't see? Go ahead, huh? This is Revelation 19 and 7. Let us be glad and rejoice mm -hmm. and give honor to him for the marriage of the Lamb has come and his wife have made herself ready. Oh, we are so ready. Man, can you imagine a virgin waiting for her bridegroom? Man. Come on, man. She just fidgeting. <laughs> she steady brushing her arms, making sure she ain't got no wrinkles. Been soaking in oils. Mm. Frankincense and myrrh oils and mm. lavenders. Smelling good. Yeah, no perfume. Just that natural Nat body smell. Mm. Man. Looking like a lily in some water. Right. Smelling good. Looking good. Skin on point. Hey, what's this guy name in um in um Esther? This guy um um Xerxes. Xerxes. Yeah, Women's yeah. was soaking six months in frankincense and myrrh, and another six months in different oils. <laughs> Twelve months preparing ourselves for a heathen. That's right. That's right. This is what we doing right now for you. How about you, Shah, man? Hey, we soaking. We <laughs> we putting that box in Epsom salts. Okay, we soaking in Epsom salt with eucalyptus mm -hmm. in it, man. Peppermint, tea tree oils, man. We soaking. It say, Revelation 19 and 7, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the Lamb has come and his wife have made herself ready and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. It's beautiful, man. You see that? You just went from talking about a woman to the righteousness of saints, man. You kidding me? Man, this is a beautiful thing, man. And we should be all blessed no matter what position you're in, no matter where you are in this truth, man. You are a blessing to this body, man. Your position is imperative. I don't care if you're the pinky toe or one minor blood cell. Your position is imperative in this truth, man. And shalom to you, sincere brothers, you sincere sisters yeah, on the comment board. Yeah, by Shimmy, I was shot, rock a thumb. Okay, the water for tuning in, man. Okay, Shabbat Shalom, man. All right, it's a heavy feeling in the earth because the Heavenly Father says, I will pull my spirit on all flesh. Right. So what's happening? You see the wicked starting to fear and you see the righteous starting to rejoice. Mm -hmm. Then the scripture say, uh, we would rejoice. Yeah. That's beautiful, man. Be glad, and man. you know, we ain't rejoicing in the world. We got bills. We got situations. We about to be out here like pilgrims on the earth for real, man. Right. Okay. Once this... Uh, Jacob's trouble start hitting hard. These mandates, they already hitting. They're going to hit different, though, here in a couple months. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that's when you're going to start to realize where your blessings really are, man. And if you ain't got nothing pending in your spiritual account, you through. 
this. Uh, it's Isaiah 9 and 2. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shine. Thou hast multiplied the nation and not increased the joy. They joy before thee according to the joy in harvest. Beautiful. And as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. So the whole flelect is rejoicing because the harvest, the harvest is being filled, man. Right. The whole flelect is rejoicing because the prophecies are playing out, man. Right. Every day. Every day. The whole flelect is rejoicing because more brothers is waking, more brothers being act reactivated, man. Brothers and sisters are being reactivated. So it's a they joy before thee according to the joy and harvest, man. What do you how should I say in Matthew 9? See, we ain't rejoicing of the world, man. We rejoicing because these prophecies are playing out, and we don't got long to be here, man. You see what these devil just said? They trying to cut down and cut off the what they said, the the um uh, what's the word they use? These are conspiracy, conspiracy. theories, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. This nigga, this nigga Biden said, told family members to pour out. If you got a family member that's that's a radicalized, point them out. Mm. We don't got listen, man. Yahweh Shah said in John uh what is that 15? Let me get this. Let me get this. Huh. This is John 15 and 18. It reads. If the world hate you, ye you know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hated you. Remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sayings, they will have kept yours also. So these things can play out, man. That's why Yahweh Shah said this is Matthew 9 and 37. It reads. Then said he unto his disciples, the harvest truly is plenteous, but the labors are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Mm -hmm. So back in Isaiah 9, it said what? They rejoice. They joy before thee according to the joy in harvest. Not, in, not, not, not according to what the world got to offer, man. The joy in harvest meaning brothers and sisters are being reactivated to this truth, man. The prophecies is playing out, man. These devils are ready to roll at any moment, man. They ready to make this. They ready to make the mark of the beast man, man, mandatory, man. Right. They ready. The steps, the positions is being taken, man. The actions is being taken, man. Right. So we're rejoicing because these devil time is running out. That's yeah. the real rejoice. Because when they time run out, when they time end, our time begin, man. Yeah. Lord willing, we build that first fruit, man. Lord willing. And you talking about the beginning of immortality. Man. Right, man. You kidding me, man? Yo, what, what is there here to measure to that? Alone. We ain't talking about the Isaiah 4 and 1 kicking in. We ain't talking about, you know, all man, the other. Get all that. Get all that. We talking about that crown, man. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I wish I was finna crown certain men, man. Himself. Mm. Personally being crowned. Mm. Picture that, man. If you can. Everything else gonna fall in line and come out to that. What the Lord say? Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness, and everything else will be added, man. The That's crown right. gonna hey, once you get the crown, hey, you get the kingdom. <laughs> the baby's gonna come <laughs> right decked out. Right. But right now we gotta deck ourselves out come. for your man. That's right. Beautifully put. You we yeah, we gotta be ready, man. You gotta be ready for the pay. Hey, this, hey, beautiful. This is a beautiful precept by the brother. We got next, Matt. This is Proverbs chapter twenty nine and two. Okay. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Right, man. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. And we rejoicing in the joy and harvest, man. Mm. We about to get out of here, man. Right. Ain't no another fifty years here in Babylon the Great, man. Uh, wait, I can't even see another 20 years here, man. No way. The Lord said we would be dead, man. So it said be no flesh and love. It'll be no flesh, bro. What is it, Matthew 24 and 22? Yeah. You see what's playing out right now with GMO foods? You see how much um um 
wickedness. D Jake is waxing worse and worse. The love of many waxing cold. Jake killing their parents, their brothers and sisters. Their baby mamas. They baby mamas, man. Jake is wicked out here. We don't got no another 20, 30 years here, man. And woe to anybody who want 20, 30 more years Tell here, me, man. man. You kidding me? The child support, the oppressions on the <laughs> all-time high. Your bills ain't doing nothing but going up. Rent's going up. Up, man. Your apartment costs more than a house now these all days, All the man. way up. <laughs> <laughs> nothing can stop you. Yeah, all the way he up. He ain't stopping, For man. Real, bro. Okay, and the Lord ain't, the Lord's bringing judgment to this place, man. And he's not going to stop either, man. Because if the man. judgment don't roll, our blessing is not going to be pending. Right, man. man. Right. Okay. And with that being said, you got anything else? Nah, that was it. Uh, Calm. Hey, the water for tuning in, man. Okay. May y'all by shimmy out shot bless your households, man. And the water, okay, for your precepts. Okay. I'm going to close out. Uh, so with that, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How will by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rahabadash. Double honors to the apostles and elder bishops and elders of great millstone who rule well, who teach well, and a sincere salutation to all the arc and pushing this truth. I'm believing this truth. About the four winds of the earth, the entire world, waking up the whole flick. Shallow one to the who are listening and learning. You few sisters who are listening and learning. Lord was edifying. The next time we say shallow one, walk about the ball. The walk for tuning in. May you how about you, my wish I continue blessing your houses. Stay prayed up. Shallow one. Shallow one. Wake up, Jacob. Shallow one.